What's up guys, welcome back to another quick tip inside of After Effects, I'm Ryan, and uh, yeah. So today we're talking about um, adjusting the camera in Z space in case you got some layers or even some particles that you can't see. And I see a lot of people that kind of just zoom out and try to work in that, but there's just a quick, fast way to adjust your camera to be able to look at those uh, particles or layers that are back in you know Z space or different parts of the screen. So let's go ahead, let's just jump right in. I got a couple examples and we'll get right to it. All right, cool. So that's uh, this is a particle example, actually is a tutorial uh, that I'm working on coming up, but let's go ahead and just look at this uh, Let's look at this project that I have with a bunch of photos and 3D layers and Z space and just, you know, uh, tons of craziness. And um, if you have a lot of stuff going back in Z space, uh, let me show you a quick way that's easy to uh, work with that. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to switch to our top view really quick. And let me zoom out, unhide the layers here. And I'm gonna make this full screen. So what I see a lot of times is, you know, we'll try to uh, work with layers back here, we'll move it around, and you know, it kind of gets to be difficult and a little bit of a pain. Um, so one thing you can do is, I have these imaginary, you know, let's say it goes all the way back, and while I kind of wish After Effects would make this window all the way open so you could see what you're working with here, sometimes you do have layers all the way back here, and this is as far as I can zoom out. I'm trying to zoom out more. Quick and easy way to be able to get this section into the middle so you can see what's happening is just go through your camera tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, pan tool here and I'm just using the, I'm just using the pan tool to get this right in the middle of our screen. And there we go, now we can zoom back in and we have these you know layers that are really far in Z space that if we needed to, uh, we can work with. And I can also zoom out so I can see my scene a little bit more. And there we go, I'm just moving around with the camera tools. Now, this may seem pretty simple and it kind of is, but you know, sometimes it gets to be a little bit helpful with particles as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this uh, particle scene I got really quick. This is actually uh, something I'm just getting ready for an upcoming tutorial on looping particles and uh, you know, making uh, GIFs out of them. GIFs, 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 whatever you wanna say it. Uh, gifts and yeah, they'll be up here maybe in one or two weeks. So, uh, but anyway, so what I got here is I got these particles and they start really back and they start really far in Z space and uh, they come at the camera. And so let's say you wanted to work with this and adjust this, but you know, as soon as you go to your top view, well, you don't see anything and you don't know where the particles are. Now I know they're coming towards the camera, but I can't see them because the screen doesn't let us see enough of that. So I'm gonna do the same technique. I'm just gonna grab, you know, the pan tool here and I'm just gonna see once our particles get in the screen here and now I can kind of see, you know, what's going on, how they're moving. And I know, you know, I easily know that they're moving in Z space and they're coming towards the camera. So, I mean, from here we can even uh, work with it and make adjustments. So I'll grab my particle layer and let's say I wanted to stretch this Z you know, Z sort of particles coming towards the camera even further. Well, right now I have the wind and Z space sort of coming at us. So I can adjust this on the fly and see, you know, sort of how far and, you know, how they're going and, you know, how everything's moving a little bit more. Same with, you know, moving out the emitter and sort of spreading that out. There we go. And this wasn't in the scene before, so we wouldn't have been able to see these adjustments. So there we go, that was another easy quick tip. I know it's a fast one. Um, thanks for hanging in there. I sh actually shot some footage today of Pixel for another upcoming tutorial, so uh, that'll be coming up. Um, but otherwise, uh, subscribe if you wanna see more. If you have any freelance questions for me, if you need a freelance for your project, I've been getting some emails about that. Uh, definitely hit me up, I'll link to my website, let me know. Um, otherwise, you know, have a great Friday night, uh, have fun, and I will see you guys next time. 3D tracked it, we have some Z space going on, and it just uh, looks pretty cool. We're gonna have our beams follow it no matter where we reposition it. 